Hi, this is Barry Crowder in Dallas, Texas in the USA. This is a presentation for the Introduction to Music Production course in Coursera. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to record and edit automation in Reaper. Reaper offers a wide variety of options for automation, too many to show in a single video, but I'll give you a taste of the options by showing you how to record automations, how to edit them manually, and finally, how to use parameters to modulate the values. Let's start with a discussion of the type of things you can automate in Reaper. These are called envelopes. For each track, there are envelopes for the parameters associated with the track itself, and also the envelopes for the parameters associated with the effects and even VSTIs, bus sends, etc. So if you click on this uh, track envelope icon, uh, Reaper will present a list, and these are all the envelopes that can be automated. You'll see that there are track envelopes, and then there are envelopes for the, each of the effects. And these are effects that I've added previously. So I'll start by showing you how to record automations. I'm going to go to the bass track here, and I'm going to click on that icon, and I'm going to choose the automation mode. There are five modes, trim read, read, touch, latch, and write. Trim read and read are read-only mode. Touch, latch, and write are recording modes. I'm going to choose write. And they work a little differently, but um, in a matter of time, I'll keep this short and just do a demonstration here. So I'm going to play this track, and I'm going to move this slider, and it's going to record my settings here. So I'm playing the track itself, but I'm recording the automation. So I want to bring the bass up a little bit. And you'll see here that it captured that. If I bring it back down, and there it goes. And when I hit stop, it's going to automatically disarm, but it captured those automations. So when I play that back, it's going to play it back as though I was adjusting that slider. That's basically how to record automations, but you might also want to edit them manually. For instance, you can come over to this visual representation, and then you can do, say, control click, and you can uh, draw on it and modify the shape that way. You can shift click and create points. So maybe you want to drag it up so that it builds up to that point. Now this is adjusting volume, so whatever I can do with the mouse, it'll when it plays it back, it'll adjust that. Or if I want to highlight a section, maybe it's a solo, uh, I can just drag the slider and automatically bump it up for that. If I want to smooth it off. So it builds up for the solo and goes back down at the end. So you can see there are a lot of options for for automating this and whatever they are whatever you've set this to is what it, how it's going to play back now there's sometimes you might want to be a little bit more precise here I've got an effect it's a modulation effect and I really want it it's uh, measured in semitones I want it to be exactly two so I go over here and select that section and I bump it up when I hover it over it, see it's 3.12, and it's really hard to get it exact right. So I'm going to do set point value, put that at 2, get that end point, set that 2 also. So now this little section right here is exactly two semitones. It's an effect here, and I'm going to turn on the similar effect for the piano. And when I play this, you'll be able to hear that... instant key change. Alright, I'm going to show you one more effect. I've got a uh, stereo pan, left-right pan effect here. And this is on the piano. And I'm going to cl click, on, uh, click on this icon for parameter modulation. I'm going to choose LFO for low frequency oscillator. And I've got a sine wave here, and I've got it synced to the tempo. So every four beats, it's going to move left to right. If I solo that channel, you'll be able to listen to the piano. And you can see that the computer is modifying that slider back and forth for the pan effect. It's moving in stereo. Now, I didn't have to record that, and I didn't have to set it here. It's a, just an automatic uh, function, basically, that's being applied to that track. Well, I know that's a lot to cover. We, uh, we talked about how to record automations. So it captures the settings of the sliders, how to use the mouse to edit the uh, envelopes in the graphical representation, and finally how to use a program to do a parameter modulation. 
So uh, there's a lot, as you, as I've said, there's a lot you can do in Reaper as far as automations. I, I hope you find these examples useful, and uh, I appreciate any uh, feedback that you have. Thanks a lot.